that night in Pittsburgh, I'll tell you, just uh, approaching, um, approaching the North Shore of Pittsburgh where Three Rivers Stadium was that time where they played, uh, approaching it from the north, you know, just driving in, you can just see this kind of uh, 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 the 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 weather it was seemed so indecisive. Like, what was it going to do? Was it going to be sunny, or was it going to be rainy? Was it going to be stormy? Uh, and it just felt like this kinetic energy that was starting to just accumulate and hang above the North Shore and above the Three Rivers, the confluence, and as that night progressed it just seemed to get heavier and heavier where you could just you know cut it open with a knife and it was just gonna pour down you know which it ended up doing uh and oddly enough it was like the grateful dead had tuned themselves weather station or tuned themselves with the weather that evening or uh, i don't know maybe it was in some point of their roads where they were in some cosmic harmony with you know what was going on but you know they um went into uh three rain songs and the the three rain songs they did it, it was interesting because you know it, it it started to sprinkle when they first started playing rain by the beatles and you know just just started sprinkling and just like as the notes were you know sprinkling through the audience the rain just started lightly coming down on everybody and uh but then whenever Jerry Garcia went into John, Lair John Lennon's lyrics, you know, when the rain, it, I mean, it just really started to come down. And everybody seemed to rejoice in that moment. Like, yes, finally, you know, this great release, you know, is happening, you know, all around us. And certainly also simultaneously, the Grateful Dead was delivering an incredible set. Um, you know, they seemed like a very tight, well-oiled machine and, you know, that deserved that reverence, deserved that respect. And, and you know, I, I felt like, yeah, here, here's, you know, um, masters of the rock and roll world, the industry, music scene, you know, uh, playing here. And I, and I felt grateful to be there. I felt thankful to be there. You know, I think it was the right moment, the right time. Uh, it was interesting seeing Jerry Garcia, you know, um, but you know, he, he just seemed like such a beautiful, uh, this is a beautiful, wise, enlightened person. You know, I know to, at that point, he was a, a sage, you know, a hero uh, to a lot of people. I certainly had just a lot of respect for him for where he had gotten in life and how he achieved it on his own terms with people that he cultivated around him who weren't necessarily like him but when it came time to play the game and be on the same team and achieve the same goal uh goals you know that uh they did it with a unique style and flair that really burned um an impression in the consciousness of of its audience and culture.